Welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny, JD, and Erin. So I feel like we've done some videos today. We are suitably warmed up. Oh God. So we're gonna watch JK. Uh, uh, it's Odyssey. I've not heard of this. I believe it's him performing a couple of his songs from the album. Oh, so. Oh, yeah. you mean that really chill, <coughs> calming, really PG album? The PG that he album. Has. He yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, like, yeah, family appropriate album. <laughs> mm. I had seven on this morning in the car. It's such a chill. Yeah. <laughs> it's about counting. Oh, God, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe in the comments. What was your favourite of the songs that he performed today and why? Performed today? That we're gonna watch. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Is he coming? Is he hiding in the other room? <sighs> Don't break my heart. No, he's not. <laughs> Don't coming. break it. Don't my feed heart. the Delulu. <laughs> no, he's not in the other room. Those muffled sounds. Don't worry about those. <laughs> Ask no questions. They'll tell you no lies. <laughs> What's up, Army? My name is Brew, host of Odyssey's Top 40 Stations, and I'm so excited for you to watch our exclusive Odyssey Live with Jungkook. He's going to be playing you some of his favorite songs off his debut album, and he made this all personally just for you. So enjoy, and it all starts... I can't tell whether he looks genuinely excited or he's just American. <laughs> I want to see the front of the dress. I was going to mm. say, is it, oh, is that like a keyhole? Sexy or completely backless? She's gone into an underground jazz bar. Oh my God, that's where I need to be. <laughs> Especially if he's performing there. Been an extra, and like you need to sit here and watch JK perform. What? <coughs> and get paid? What? Actually, it'd be, but you don't have to stand up and get excited. Oh. What is on that collar of his jacket? Of his shirt? I freaking love this song. Oh. I just love this choreo. It's the little. It's the slowness of the stuff. I, I think the heel on those <coughs> boots also oh. adds mm. Mate, I don't want to be left golden, I want to be left broken. Oh. God, can you imagine being in that room? I'd have fallen off the chair. Or is he going to sit at the table with her? Oh! <gasps> 
Oh god. Why do I feel like he's gonna take his jacket off yeah. or something like? Like this could be a musical. Mm. Like, so. <laughs> this probably why it's literally one of my favorites. Yeah. It, it's possibly my favorite song he's ever done, including from BTS stuff. I'm not sure. Like if I could marry a choreography, like I think it could be this. Ooh. I think is he real? He just looks too perfect. Where I've watched some of his older stuff lately, I didn't realise how much <coughs> I missed the lip rings. God. Mm. I need seven for seven days a week. Uh. Isn't that what I originally said to you when I yes. introduced BTS? <laughs> Sorry, forget this choreo too. I really need to marry this one as well. <laughs> Hang on, wait there. It's a bit. <laughs> We're loving today, are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a fall! <laughs> He's looking at himself like, off you go, babe. Also, we know that there's no denying the message, okay? Because he's mentioned Afterglow in two songs. <laughs> and break me off. And, and then Champagne Confetti in another one. So we know. <laughs> well, it's there as well. Oh my god, it's just me like how many JKs are there? It's nice that you kept this bit of the song in. Yeah. Look, seven tables, seven on the wine. Oh, good spot. Oh, oh there is everywhere. Oh, look at the, is it, oh my god, he's at the drum kit. I think I've had this dream. <laughs> <laughs> we, I think we all have. Like, Change. Leather pants. We're in the alley now. <laughs> Turn out to the phone. T-shirt's not tucked in. That 
was so seamless that I didn't even notice that the dancers had changed from mm. women to men. I love the girl's bit of choreo. Yeah. <clears throat> She's supposed to see this. Mm. I like all the different outfits of all the dancers as well. That is just, if I could give a choreo move a word of fuck boy, it would be that move, that little bounce that he does. <clears throat> I just love the, the way they use the clothing for that move yes. though. Yeah. I think it's really... Because you notice everyone's wearing the bigger, the baggier and yeah. yeah. They cut out when he said their body. Did it? Yeah, I think they silenced Ooh. that two oh. words. Oh, they cut out whoring. So if this was on at a time yeah, that wasn't, it they did. Yeah, he was, family show. He was loving rather than anything else. Mm. I love when his voice comes back in. How he then moves back in with the dancers through that little body roll. It's just so seamless. Oh. <laughs> His face is about, what? what was that phone call about? The song is very different. I I really like the beat of it. Mm. It's got a sultry vibe. And the dancers have got a smooth criminal look. Mm. <clears throat> and 
I like at times the dancers aren't all doing the same thing. Mm. All right, I hope you're enjoying our exclusive Odyssey Live with Joe Cook. Follow us for more behind the scenes content with JK and one oh, of your favorite okay. artists at Odyssey, and we'll see you at the next one. Well, that was really good. Oh, it's my loins. Your loins, <laughs> them loins are ringing. We did get very heated very quickly. I was sitting there thinking, I'm going to have to take my job. <laughs> I'm getting a bit, whoo, yeah. a bit warm. I don't know how much you have to pay to get into that club, but I'm willing to do it. Well, yeah. I've got spare organs. <laughs> yeah. And what, what an interesting setting. For so I've never watched anything of Odyssey before, yeah. but we've seen things like little live lounges and things like that. But just to have, like, obviously it was pre-recorded, so yeah. you could, you know, edit it and whatnot. But it's just so cool. Obviously he was singing it live, but it yeah. was a recorded yeah. thing. But such a cool... You know, if if they got to pick what set they wanted and the club and the alley and everything, there's like a little whole story to going on. That's yeah. really cool. I really, I, I see why people in the comments were like, you should you watch it. Yeah. Um, you, know you were right. <laughs> so good. I will say I preferred the first <clears throat> outfit and hairstyle because the second hairstyle, having it down like that, mm. it gave me little flashbacks to Cookies when he was younger. And I'm like, that's a very, don't... Or oh, it didn't for me. Don't give me that image and then sing 3D. That, mm. That's not... <laughs> I could see why that would be a problem. Do you know what I mean? It when didn't the, give me cookie flash. There were just but... certain, I don't know if it was certain angles with that hairstyle. Mm. I mean, not that it's a bad thing. He looks gorgeous. But you know when you're like, oh my God, they're just reminding me of when he was young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think first outfit was, was my favourite. Yeah. Ultimately... I'm not here for the clothes, I'm here for the model. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's all good. I liked that first outfit, the, like the heel of the boots as well. Mm. I, I I, think standing next... I, I'm, I'm surprised that I'm saying this about an English song. Like, I wouldn't mind if it was one of those Korean ones, whatever. But I th- just the vocals, the arrangement, mm. everything about it, um, I think Standing Next to You is my favourite song he's ever done. So, could you imagine <laughs> in like a... Um, a Forty Second Street tap shoe and like a, like a like a sparkling well, kind of like, hat. Like you a, said, it was like a yeah. musical, and obviously that's and then it's the damn. final number, and then they're like pff, 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 like oh. the cannons, or maybe not like the the finale, but like the end of like the first half. Mm. And yeah, I just I want to see that like blown up on the stage. Mm. And I went to a really happy place. I never want to leave. A I tangent. love uh, watching the spin with the mic stand. <clears throat> it's it's so cool. Mm. And I still don't know how it works. <laughs> All right, so we need to order a microphone stand so that we can be prepared. So <laughs> you need to film your practice yeah. of that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how the actors extras sitting at those tables because like i said i'd want to be mm. there but stay in your seat don't move <gasps> did you just did you <laughs> see them move are we sure they're not very well done mannequins ah uh, they could be they, filter they, 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 they learned from filter you need to use a mannequin mm. yeah. they were i think they were watching there was a, a man and a woman on that table over there yeah. and I, they I looked real a- yeah. ai is very good nowadays it's true <laughs> do you know what i mean i wouldn't have been able to sit still and just watch. Mm. No, I couldn't not have. Not yeah. without looking like a deer in headlights. <laughs> also, that. Oh my god, my loins. <laughs> Do you know why? It's because of what I was about to say. That many JKs. Oh. <laughs> Magical. But the fact that one JK was judging the other for interrupting his dent, <laughs> the brilliant. look he gave him was like, mm. move on, fella. Yeah. <laughs> That that is. But J.K. is competitive. We know this. Hmm. But so you know, he's competing himself. with himself. <laughs> but you know what it gave me the, um, you know when we did the IMBT one and it said about the leaf. The oh, the Pirella leaf. Yeah, <laughs> that was Pirella leaf. J.K. looking like you can't yeah. look at my girl. Mm. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think it's good that he kept the wraps in from. Latto and from the Jack other Carlo. artists, yes, yeah, because he could have just shortened the song, yeah, but it's nice, yeah. And I like that we could hear such well, clear, beautiful vocals, but the way you could easily hear when he sung live and when he mm. performed and let the backing track do a bit, yeah, it really just showed you, yes, he can do that, 
mm. vocal live mm. and just perfect. Yeah. He, he's always singing along though. Have you noticed even when it's like a little backing bit, he's still like, bah, bah, bah. yeah. Like he's, <laughs> he, the reason those songs are so successful, obviously they're sexy, sexy. They are globally marketable. Yeah. But also because he enjoys them. Mm. Yeah. He vibes with them. Yeah. Mm. So you can't help but vibe with him. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And so closer to you, we've not heard that one before. <clears throat> Since it started, I was a bit like, oh, the beat is different. I like it. Mm. It gave me hazy throngs of a club where the music is loud but everyone's like moving in the space it's a bit sm- like not like cigarette smoky but like white it's kind of yeah smoky that mm. kind of well i think that's kind of like the, yeah. the vibe that he was going for with that and it's interesting because i when we were watching it i was thinking i was like this is really interesting because it's like you're singing about something that's just out of reach and obviously the woman at the table was watching the dancers who were great yeah. up on the stage and she wasn't watching him and it was like he was rotating and he was you know singing about something that's just there and i thought that was interesting because obviously in the other stages he had been front and center starting yeah. with people watching him and then all of a sudden it ended with him not being watched so i thought it was really interesting. well let's say props to her because imagine that sit here jk's gonna perform but you can't look at him yeah what did you just see the bead of sweat? Yeah. Of? <laughs> yeah. I actually got my eyes shut. Just feel me from behind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that was, it was lovely song, lovely vocals. It was more, more, mm. more aspirate, more airy. Yeah. It, yeah. I really mm. liked the sound and the, the feel of it. Mm. I know it was in English. I still didn't really take in like too much of what was said because I was just a bit awestruck, I guess. And mm. I didn't. Joking. But then to be honest, when I listen to any English song for the first time, I wouldn't say I'm yeah. necessarily focusing on what they're saying. Like, I, it's a feel, it's a sound, it's... Mm, okay. I know language, doesn't mean I know song. I'll be honest, yeah. before BTS, I don't think I ever really paid that much attention to the lyrics of what I was listening to. The only it was, it's all sound, I like it or I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I've only ever bothered to go into yeah. Taylor's lyrics and then every Korean song I ever hear. But yeah, yeah other than, like, she's the only person I... Oh, nice. I'm quite geeky with it. I like to. Maybe it's because I, I feel like it deepens my understanding. Enjoy of my it. misheard lyrics so much. Yeah, <laughs> I do them so happen. well. <laughs> but yeah, with that one, so the 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 vibe I got again, it was. I don't know if it was someone that he doesn't have that relationship with that he desires, or if it's someone that is maybe pulling away from him. I'm not sure. But the lyrics were like, "I'll be your shoulder for you to lean on, and yes, in I the darkness, bit, I'll be yeah. your light." And it was it was sort of talking about like. I'll, I'll be there for you and I, I just want to get closer to you. So it had like a tinge of sadness to it. The things you're wanting to be for someone yeah. if they give you a chance. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe someone who is scared to go there and you're reassuring them that Yeah. you'll be there is okay. Yeah, and, and you're worth yeah. it. You're worth taking that risk for. Mm, yes. That was nice. Props to all the dancers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of the staging. Yeah. All of the lighting. Like just... The only thing I wished was in 3D, loving all the leather pants, but you know, because it was like what you were saying about the, the, the floor was black and the butt, it was mm. very dark, and so we couldn't see all of the movements from all the dancers. So I just would have liked if we had from somewhere slightly more light, just so I could see more of their bodies yeah. and dancing. Because the floor the... was black. Yeah, but also it was a bit wet, so I thought if they could have just added a little bit of light into it, That's... you would have got it like the hydrant in the video exactly yeah yeah i would have liked it if there really was that many jk's mm. um i would like to see other people do that i'd like to have seen jim do it as well. yeah yeah i said bts as a whole on it would be good too yeah yeah just to get a, a comparison to see what other stuff has been mm been like yeah because like tiny desk is like the live band yeah. and so odyssey it'd be cool to see it. it's obviously a bit like studio it's pre-recorded yeah. and yeah so it's just um be cool to see what other people have done with it if they literally get free creative i'd like to know decisions over that space yeah i'd like to know um 
why JK chose this one to do. Because obviously I've not heard of this before, so I'm assuming it's not something that BTS have done before. So yeah, because he hasn't done like Studio Tomb or Tiny Desk. So I wonder whether it's just that he's decided this is the best, this is the way he wants to showcase it. Because mm. Jimin did Studio Tomb. Yeah. They, RM did they Tiny may have Desk. Approached him. So yeah. They may have approached him because if they are just guessing from Brew, the gentleman at the beginning there, he's obviously American. If they have a wider American audience, a wider reach, yeah. maybe that's why he chose it. Yeah. So who knows? I suppose there's probably loads of people going, what is his live lounge and why Why was he there? Yeah, for true. Us? So it's, it might be something really... Although the whole thing of like him coming here and doing live lounge and doing that one show performance, it, it's still like a punch to the gut to me that it was when we weren't here and couldn't go. It's like... A, that's what I'm was stopping here us being there. for the rest of the year. <laughs> I'm here like every day. I left the country twice last year for what a total of four days of the whole year. And that's when you do it. So that was our reaction to JK on Odyssey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.